Hey guys, it's El Supersonic Q here, and today we're gonna finish this flood tutorial. It's been going on for far too long, and I just want to finish it. And last time we finished off with like kind of this, this um, part of his handle, and I told you guys to do the other side, so that's what I did. And now what I'm gonna tell you guys to do, which I didn't tell you to do last time, but I already did it, is put toothpicks into like all of the connecting pieces. So pretty much. What we're going to do is essentially assemble this like a model kit. So what I want to do is, I kind of already did, already did this to test it, is so you take the toothpick and you just put it in where it would go, and it makes a little hole. And then just take it out. And do the same thing for the other side. You just kind of want to, like I, like I said before, just kind of spin it in. And be careful that you don't push it too hard or anything so that, you know, the toothpick doesn't like break out of one of the sides. Huh, kind of got stuck. Yeah, this clay is kind of hard at this point. This is just a, just a small little hole. Like that. So that's that's flood. And now what we're going to do is take, I guess, uh, this part. Make a small little hole. Right here. Take it out. And do the same thing for uh, this side. Right here. Make a small hole. And then take it out. Hmm. Well, yeah, <laughs> this yellow is um is really really old. It's been sitting out for like two weeks or something, so it's kind of getting stuck. But uh, we just need some kind of a hole to to put the pieces into, and you should be fine. But before that, I'm going to attach uh, this, which I'm going to use a toothpick for. But I'm going to keep it in here because it's not something that I feel is going to fall out or anything. So let's attach that in there. Let's do the little back piece. So let's do like this. And point it a little bit. I don't think this is gonna need a toothpick either. Just kinda just kinda push it on enough. And you should be good. We're gonna do the eyes now. Uh really easy. I figured this is the best way to do the eyes. I, I could not figure out a better way to do them. I'm just gonna take some black, a line of black, and just put it put it right like here and then kind of just uh, press it on and you don't want it to be too thick you want it to be rather thin so like I said so you don't have like clay sticking out like out to here you know and of course he has eyes uh, shaped like this then just do the same thing to the other side all right so it's gonna look like that so um, what we're gonna do now is this so this is gonna be the little, whoops, this is gonna be the little like water compartment thing and it's one of those clear capsules. Let me um, just add some more, some more clay down here. Like, like this. And you wanna, this is, this is just wobbling all over the place so we're gonna glue that on later. And um, we might as well, we might as well glue this on later too, you know, why, why not? Um, but I just wanna make sure that Okay, that, that should be good, but let's just make sure. Okay, so let's just see if that's a good size. Um, yeah, that's good. I'm going to call that good. Let me just make sure the other one, too. Okay, that should be, that should be good, and it might be better if he's leaning up against here anyway. Just make that a little bit nicer. He does have this yellow on the bottom, so just kind of do that and, and then peel it off. What we're going to do now is kind of put on the the part where we're going to kind of put it onto Mario. So here's a Mario clay figure that I think is pretty much in scale. And like I said, depending on how large or small you made this, you'll be able to kind of scale it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, and what effectively we're going to do is take this pipe cleaner, okay? We're gonna wrap it around Mario like this, and then essentially um, we're gonna connect this right here to Flood, and he's gonna be kind of kind of right there. So what we're gonna to do to get that is create a little area where we can slip the pipe cleaner through. And like I said, this isn't um, you know rubber or anything, so we can't just poke a hole. So we're gonna to have to do we're gonna to have to kind of attach. A little piece that it can connect through. So just a little something like that. Let 
gonna just make sure that there's enough room for the pipe cleaner to get through. So that should be good, and then all I'm gonna do is just very gently just kind of peel it off and Um, we're pretty much done, so I what I'm going to do is just disassemble all this stuff. I'm going to put it all in the oven, all, all this stuff, and then I'll show you guys how to assemble it when we come back. Okay guys, so we came out of the oven and he's in pieces, so like I said, we're going to we're gonna do this model kit style and um, pretty much just assemble him. So just small dabs of glue, this is Loctite super glue I'm using, as always. Okay, so when we put these on, we want to we want to be careful, you know that they should they should fit like this, you know, off to the side like that. That 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 would be that would be good. So now we're gonna glue the bottom this down here. Okay, and now. I guess it doesn't really matter where we put this connecting piece. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue kind of on these right underneath. These, you know, right there, right where we connected them together. And this will essentially sit. I'm going to use a toothpick just to kind of spread this a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that sit just for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this around Mario like this. Just kind of get a rough estimate about how, you know, how far it's gonna go. Maybe, maybe this length should be fine because we we want it to actually hold tight to him. All right, so pretty much all you do is just slip the, the pipe cleaner through here and then just kind of pull it forward and tie it onto Mario. And you pretty much get this in the end. Flood on Mario. Like that. So like I said, um, if you, you know, made it larger or smaller, um, it can fit onto any figure, any Mario that you want essentially because of this pipe cleaner method, um, essentially, you know, you can adjust it to whatever size, and then just when you're sculpting flood, make sure that you scale the flood to the size of the of the Mario you're working with. But um, otherwise, I guess that kind of does it for this tutorial. This I will say uh, toward the end, especially, it got really hard for for me. So I guess if someone couldn't really uh, do with this plastic and stuff, what what you could do is just instead of having the clear plastic, um, I'll just do this like, like quick. What you can pretty much do is just sculpt like this or something like it and then kind of put a toothpick, um, you know, right, right there and then put that long, this long gray part just right onto here and then essentially do the same thing. You could either Sculpt that little connecting piece, that gray connecting piece right there. Or what you could do too is just kind of poke a little hole with something. And then, so it's already kind of connected right into the clay. Like this, and then you could just slip it through. And you get the same effect if you didn't want to go through, uh, you know, the, the clear stuff. Thanks for watching, I'm L Supersonic Q. Till next time, Finn.